friends, I am Molly West, the Sensible Stitcher, and I am here to show a planning video for my cross stitch for 2024, specifically for January. Yesterday, I filmed a planning video and a whip parade, and it was over an hour long, and the volume didn't work. So I'm going to keep this one really short, and hope that the volume is going to function correctly today. So let's go ahead and get started. This year I'm doing Whip Go and I'm doing Bring Go. I'm also doing um, the Soulful Stitchers uh, Year of Whips 2024 and that is where you select eight whips that you want to finish. And so I'm going to show you which eight whips I want to finish. I am starting uh, nine new starts. One of them I'm hoping will be a start to finish because it's small. So I'm hoping to end 2024 with the exact same number of whips that I've started it with. At the end of this video, I will do a slideshow of everything that's going to be in whip go because I've already filmed it. It just didn't have volume. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you my, um, my Bringo calls for this year. Um, I have the Bringo board completely filled in. I had to make one change, but it's done and it's ready. See, so there's what my board is going to look like. I have one new start. It is Halloween time. It is from October 21, um, October 2021. Um, just Cross Stitch Magazine, and it is a chart by the Witchy Stitcher. And so I will be starting that during January. That is going to be one of my new starts for the year. Also in Bringo, I will be working on Virtue by Long Dog Sampler. This is also going to be a focus on a finish for the year. This is probably my largest focus on finish. And this is the starting point, and I would like to try to finish it in April. It is an autism acceptance piece, and uh, April is the autism acceptance month. So this is where it is, and um, it comes up either once or twice during uh, Bringo. And Bringo is through Magazine Monthly Challenge on um, Facebook. Also in Bringo, I will be working on my Anniversaries of the Heart. I am currently working on the fourth pattern, but it's only my second pattern. I rearranged them slightly, and it's called Pink Hill Manor. And I have converted the threads on both pieces. And this is where I, this is my starting point on this. And I think it's on here a couple times. I'm gonna try to, I would love to get a finish on just this one chart, so I don't really consider that a finish for me. Um, that would just be like a partial finish or what have you. Also on Bringo is, oops, that was already open, is Hipster Joe by Panna. And... is not a focus on a finish for this year. I'm just going to hope to get a little work done on him. This one is a focus on a finish. Um, it is a Serbian proverb by Lottie Daw. I have read, uh, I am using different floss choices. Mine is a red and white. Sampler. 
and this is my starting point for 2024. And this one is being, oh, I have not been telling you all the names of the fabrics or the stitch count. This one is on 28 count um, bright white even weave Monaco. Uh, Panna is on kit everything. Um, my uh, anniversaries of the heart is on 32 count legacy. And my virtue by long dog sampler is on 28 count even weave. Next up is Ashley's Roses. This is on a 32 count um, tea dye even weave that I dyed myself. This is what Ashley's Roses looks like. It is on, uh, it's an out of print Mirabilia chart. And this is my starting point. So this will also be my focus in May for Mirabilia May, Mira May. But it comes out in Bringo. I'd like to finish that one in the next three and a half years so that I can give it to one of my daughters as a graduation gift from high school. Also on Bringo is One Nation. And I, I'm, I do not know, this is a mystery fabric to me, but it is, actually it might be the called for ale from Picture This Plus. And this is my starting point on One Nation. I'm sorry, I'm hustling through these. I spent so long yesterday that I got a, a little bit of floss tube burnout. Uh, let's see. Also on Bringo is Ave Maria by Modern Folk Embroidery. I'm stitching this one on 32 count dark cobblestone Lugana. And I'm also using um, Sulky 12 weight in the color 1082. It's similar to Ecru. And this is my starting point on this piece. It's so wrinkly. Sorry. And then my focus on a finish for January, which will also be on my <clears throat> Bringo board, is Garden Friends by Blackbird Designs. It is out of the Sewing Club book. It will look like this. I'm stitching it on 32 Count Legacy. This is my starting. And it's so pretty. I'm really enjoying that one. So that will be my focus on a finish in January. The only focus on a finish pieces that I did not show are um, Rain Queen by Nora Corbett. I will be trying to get her complete during 2024. She, everything that's, um, I've started some of the beading and some of the back stitch up top, but there is still quite a bit to go in her dress and around the bottom. So that will be fun. And also a um, Bringo piece and a Whipgo piece is Old West. I'll insert it. It is on 32 count Golden Needle by Wichelt. 
It is a Little House Needle Works project and I am stitching it one over one. It is on my Bringo board several times and it is on my Whipgo board. It is my oldest whip and I really want to get it finished this year because those stitches are so tiny and my eyes just, I need to go ahead and get it done now. My other focus on the finished pieces for 2024 are Spanish Rose Leaf Blur by Hello from Liz Matthews. I'm stitching this on 40 count alabaster. And this is my starting point. This little piece. focus on a finish for the year is going to be Cooper by Kathy Barrett. And these are each assigned a month, but because yesterday's took me so long, I went through month by month of all of my planning for next year. Here's my starting point on this. And this is being stitched on uh, 36 count platinum. And then my final eighth focus on a finish is Modern Folk Embroidery Nordic Heart. I made a slight rechart to put in some initials right here. It is being stitched on 32 count Storm Night Linen. And this one is terribly wrinkled wrinkly. Sorry about that. This is my starting point for 2024. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to get that one finished. And I think I have this one for maybe February. I do have some planned new starts for the year, so I'm gonna go ahead and show those really quickly. The only thing I won't do is show, I have focus whips for each month um, that are not new starts and they're not focus on a finish, they're just whips, so I'm gonna not show those now. I'll show them at a different time. But my new starts for this year, the first one, and these are in no particular order, but I'm going to be starting a chart out of this Beatrice Potter book by Veronique on jean -Jay. This is what it looks like. This is a difficult to find book. It is French and I think it might be out of print. I've had it for a very long time. I will be starting this sampler. to start this fabulous piece. This I got off of Etsy. It was a PDF download. It is called The Barfly. <laughs> and it's by Miss Prim. And I love her with all my heart. I do not drink, but I think she's fabulous. So I'm going to be stitching her. Then I got, this is going to be a gift stitch. Arranging Mushrooms by Ink Circles. I will also be starting My Big Toe, it is well. And it's beautiful. Oh, I've wanted to start this one for so long. This is the one that I was saying I think will help me keep my whip count even because it's 72 by 72. It is count twice, stitch once. It's by Primitive Hair, and it's that little snail needle. Adorable. I am going to start a Butternut Road baby sampler. It is called New Baby. It is so cute. Guys, oh, y'all, 
I love them with all my heart. They are fabulous. So I'm going to be starting that one this year. And I have one more new start for the year. And this was a gift from my husband for Christmas. It was the only cross stitch I asked for. And it is called The Time for Myself. And it's beautiful. I'm super excited. So those are my new starts. That's my Bringo plans. And at the end of this, I'm going to insert um, a just a quick slideshow of my uh, whips that are going to be on my whip go board. Guys, Happy New Year. Sorry this was fast and furious, but yesterday was long. I had on my lipstick. I was looking so cute. So sorry, friends. <laughs> <laughs> this happens sometimes. You guys have a wonderful new year and I will see you soon. I have been doing a better job of posting on Instagram. So you can check me out there at uh, Sensible Stitcher, Molly West Sensible Stitcher. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <music>